Hello and thank you for joining us. My name is David Pomeran. I am counsel with the Consumer Bankers Association and I'm joined today by Mark Lupe, Executive Vice President and Head of uh, Business Banking with HSBC Bank. Mark is also the Chairman of CBA's Small Business Banking Committee. Welcome, Mark. Welcome, Dave. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are here today to talk about small business banking and put it into some perspective. You know, about a year ago, we saw a lot of media attention around the banks aren't lending. So, really, it forced uh, the CBA small business community to take a look at this and really ask for some tracking to really understand the real issue. And what we learned was two really important things. First of all, the volume of applications coming into the banks on a monthly basis now is a third of what it was in 2007 and 2008. In addition, we also saw that the amount of credit available to small business in the market today is, is the highest it's been in history. So really, we didn't really see this as an issue of supply, but an issue of demand. And you're seeing a steady comeback of, of the demand over the last year or two? The level of demand has stayed pretty flat. So one of the priorities that we set for the CBA Small Business Committee was to really to help drive lending volume in the U.S. because we understand that the lending volume really drives job growth and the, and the overall economic recovery. So it was important for us to really get out there and, and really help educate uh, the regulators, the legislators, uh, that it isn't the supply issue, it's the demand issue, so they're focusing their energies around building demand, building confidence out there, because that's really where the biggest need is. Right. And Mark, you do double duty. You also act as the chairman of uh, CBA's Small Business Banking Committee, as I said earlier. What are some of the things that the committee's doing right now to help um, increase awareness with small businesses and also to um, perhaps discuss the best practices for banks themselves? We're fortunate because the committee is made up of 25 of the key leaders in the, in the small business banking industry. I mean, we have members that are, that are heads of business banking from the, the national and regional banks across the U.S. And we together decided, number one, we needed to con continue that tracker so we can monitor the, the, the lending volumes quarter to quarter and really help people to understand are we seeing some lift um, uh, as we move forward. We also um, are working to, to understand where the demand is. And one area that clearly uh, became a, a sort of an area of opportunity for us was a franchise. So it was uh, the CBA Small Business Committee took it uh, as, a, as an opportunity for us to really develop a, a template, a, a way for the, uh, the franchisors to really put together all of the information they need, uh, that the bank needs to really underwrite a credit request and um, really uh, help these organizations um, meet the requirements that the banks have from a quality perspective and uh, drive more approvals through that process. What does the lending environment look like to the, to the small business banker right now? It's a very competitive uh, situation out there. There's, there's only a few loans and all the banks are competing. So to really be successful, a bank has to be proactive. They've got to get their people on the street, knocking on doors, and really highlighting the opportunities where credit can be applied. And it's, 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 it's in relation to consumer confidence, Mark, um, what do we need to see from the, uh, the economy and, and perhaps from Congress at this point? First of all, I would say, you know, we need to get a, a consistent message around SBA. Um, you know, there are a lot of great programs out there. Um, we need to understand that they're going to be there so that the banks can really help and educate their teams to leverage those programs. I think the other thing, from a bigger picture perspective, is really Congress needs to proceed cautiously because what they're doing there is creating a perception around confidence. The, uh, the, what, what are small businesses looking at as far as certainty in, in, the, uh, in, the, in the lending environment? Well, I think you know, certainly uh, a number of different um, you know, uh, tax credits have been announced. I think people want to understand how long they'll be there. I think they just want to understand in general that some of the support programs will be available and that the, uh, you know, the government has their own personal affairs in order um, so that we're, we have a solid base on which to grow. Great. So good consumer confidence, good for small businesses, good for banks making loans. Exactly. Great. Exactly. Through your work with the um, CBA's Small Business Banking uh, Committee, uh, what, have you, what have, uh, has the committee done in Washington to help improve the small business lending environment? And we've been fortunate to, to really have the opportunity to speak to Congress uh, and individuals that really focus on small business uh, in Washington to really highlight uh, the issue that this is more of a demand situation versus a supply issue with the banks providing credit so that we could focus 
uh, Washington's efforts to really help develop and support uh, activities that will increase demand in the U.S. We're meeting with um, legislators. Um, we actually had the opportunity to speak to directly to Ben Bernanke, the chair of the Federal Reserve, uh, to really highlight this particular uh, finding and really gain his support and really helping us uh, review SBA programs and make them more attractive uh, and, and to entice uh, business owners to really take that next step, um, add that next piece of equipment, that additional uh, employee to really uh, help to spur growth across the U.S. Great. So a very busy agenda in Washington. Absolutely. Great. Thank you very much, Mark.